Hello, my name is Aaron, and in this discussion, we're going to explore Cisco Cloud OnRed for co-location. Before we get too far into the nitty-gritty technical details of the solution, let's quickly set up the context and answer the question, why co-locations? And why Cisco Cloud OnRed for co-location? To do that, let's go back in time to see how networks used to be constructed several years ago. Historically, networks were constructed with one idea in mind, connecting users to the data centers. Data centers were considered the crown jewels of most organizations and nearly every business critical function was hosted within them. As time went on, however, the cloud era began to emerge. Suddenly, critical business resources are now hosted outside the organization within some nebulous cloud and no longer found within the data center. To further compound the issue, most organizations also subscribe to a centralized internet access model, meaning internet access to the cloud also came out of the data center. Now, as cloud architectures really started to ramp up, this method of access no longer sufficed since it often came with a steep latency penalty. So along comes SD-WAN, which ushers in the new model of internet access, distributed. With SD-WAN, organizations were free to drop internet-bound traffic off locally at the branch to allow it to access the cloud resources directly. And coupled with features like cloud on ramp for SaaS and cloud on ramp for IaaS, it could be reasonably optimized. But some organizations need more, and in fact, these organizations have asked how they can combine the benefits of both access models. With centralized access, it was easy to control and optimize outbound internet traffic. It was just inefficient. With distributed access, the traffic is more efficient, but it's a bit harder to control and optimize. This is where the notion of co-locations and regionalized internet access comes into play. Co-locations provide an excellent opportunity to optimize the middle mile, i.e. the area between your branches and the cloud. By allowing subscribers to rent equipment, space, bandwidth, and power, a customer can provide data center-like benefits with much greater geographical coverage at a fraction of the cost. Co-locations position themselves intentionally at the cloud edge so that they can offer the customer reasonably inexpensive, dedicated bandwidth into the cloud provider of their choice. Now, knowing this, our customers can strategically select co-location facilities that have close proximity to their branch users, in effect, extending the cloud edge as close to the branch as we can get it. The name of the game becomes get branch traffic to the nearest co-location as quickly as possible to minimize all latency and optimize the middle mile. So where does cloud on ramp for co-location fit into this? To answer that, let's have a look at the following. On the left side of the drawing, we see all the users, devices, and things, the data consumers. On the right side of the drawing, we see all of the data providers. In the middle of this drawing, we have the cloud edge. Cloud on ramp for co-location lives inside the co-location facility at this cloud edge, in essence, at the demarcation point between users and the data that they consume. Interestingly, since user data now funnels through an aggregation site again, it now becomes easier to control and optimize. Cloud on ramp for co-location provides the control and optimization of a centralized internet access model, while the geographical presence and coverage of co-locations themselves add the distributed access model elements back in. Cloud on ramp for co-location is managed by Cisco SD-WAN vManage. In fact, it's just a workflow within the configuration menu. Cloud on ramp for co-location can bootstrap itself and join the SD-WAN fabric just like an ISR or vEdge would. And in that sense, we can present the co-location as just another branch off of the SD-WAN fabric. But you may be asking yourself, aside from providing automated access into the co-location and out to the cloud, what else can it provide? Couldn't I just put an SD-WAN router in the co-location and accomplish the same thing? The true benefit to Cisco Cloud on ramp for co-location is its ability to host virtual machines or virtual network functions. Virtual network functions, VNFs for short, are just as the name would imply, network functions that are virtualized, such as a load balancer, firewall, WAN optimization appliance, or even an SD-WAN router. By virtualizing network functions within the solution, SD-WAN policy can then be used to funnel users' traffic through these functions. Imagine, if you will, an organizational policy that says all outbound Office 365 traffic must pass through a data loss prevention sensor. How would you accomplish this in a historical context? With Cloud on for co-location, you can virtualize your data loss prevention sensor, make it available globally, and use SD-WAN policy to ensure that Office 365 traffic is directed to the nearest, best performing co-location for inspection. Or, for another example, assume you have many partners and vendors to deal with. How do you provide them secured access into your network and sleep well at night knowing that a breach of their network will not impact your network? 
Imagine having a dedicated virtual firewall for each vendor or partner, wherein you could host that vendor or partner's access into your network from anywhere in the world. And lastly, given the impact of the recent health crisis, what if you could spin up remote access VPN capacity across the entire world with just a few clicks, now that much of your workforce will be working from home? These are the use cases Cloud OnRamp looks to solve, and many more. Now, up to this point, however, I've been referring to Cloud OnRamp for co-location as some sort of nebulous solution. But what is it exactly? The solution, at a minimum, consists of four components. Two Catalyst 9500 48-port switches, and two cloud services platform 5444s. These components collectively represent the Cloud OnRamp for co-location solution and are often referred to as a pod or a cluster. The CSPs provide compute functionality to allow our customers to host virtually any network function they wish, provided it utilizes KVM as the hypervisor. The Catalyst 9Ks, on the other hand, provide high-speed backplane switching between the VNFs, should a customer wish to chain multiple VNFs together. It's important to note that a single cluster can be expanded up to eight CSPs without having to add additional switches. So for use cases where a lot of compute is necessary, Cloud OnRamp for co-location can scale horizontally to meet the need. Now, while on the topic of VNFs, it's important to note that this solution is completely open. At the heart of it is NFEIS, Cisco's purpose-built KVM hypervisor that makes this solution possible. On the left side of the screen, you'll notice a number of certified vendors that Cisco has worked with in the past on this solution. These vendors offer products that we were able to virtualize and test within our labs to certify their viability within this solution. However, as KVM is an open source hypervisor, any QCOW2 image can be virtualized in this solution. So don't let the absence of a particular vendor deter you. We may not have tested them, but we still support them. Thank you for joining me on this brief discussion of the solution. Now check out part two for a deep dive into the configuration and cluster fundamentals.